All right, everyone, Cody here. So I'm making a compost pile today. I actually made one yesterday. It's right here. You see, that's the finished product. It's about the size I'm going for. It's primarily leaves, which are quite common this time of year. All you gotta do is uh, jump in your truck, go around town, pick up the bags that people leave out for you. Leaves on their own are very low in nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus. So basically the tree absorbs all of the nutrients from the leaf, leaving mostly carbon behind. So you're going to need to mix the leaves with something else. I'm going to be using a cow manure. Uh, I might also throw in, just because it's winter and I want it to compost quickly so it generates heat, a little bit of uh, just NPK lawn fertilizer. I'm going to be adding about two bags of leaves per layer. Mix them around and form a platform of the size and shape of the bottom of your pile. I figure it's a good idea to be wearing gloves while doing this. Anything to decrease the chances of poking yourself with a needle or something. You never know what's going to be in those bags. To this layer of leaves, I'm going to be adding a bucket of manure. Just kind of spreading it over the leaves like so. Of course, I can throw a lot faster when I'm not holding a camera. And I got the manure spread. I'm throwing a handful of fertilizer onto it. This uh, part is optional. You could just use more manure or have a pile that decomposes slower. <laughs> now I'm going to water this down. Kind of like that. I'm also adding a couple of pounds of the charcoal. This was made with the cone method to each layer. This started out as a way to activate the charcoal to form biochar by inoculating it with plenty of nutrients and microbes but it's ended up being just a courtesy to my neighbors because the charcoal absorbs massive amounts of the uh, nasty smells so it makes the pile much less stinky it really shouldn't stink as long as you turn it often enough but the charcoal assures that it doesn't and when I'm mixing it with soil I can always add more charcoal to bring it up to the 10% that is usually listed as being ideal. And that's it. I'm leaving the last layer of leaves undressed. They're mostly insulation at this point. I've still got a bunch more leaves, so I think I'm gonna fill in this gap between the two piles. Basically make one big pile. And then I guess when I'm turning it, I can just roll it out into the path here and then roll it back. <laughs>
So here it is. As you can see, it's now spring. The compost is as done as it's gonna get. As you can see, I've already started to load it into my raised beds here. Uh, it might have been a lot better if I could have shredded the leaves. You know, as you see, they, they haven't quite broken down and they're still kind of matted. I'm trying to bust them up. But since I'm just planting potatoes, I don't think it'll be a problem. Uh, this uh, compost will continue to decompose probably over the next year or so. And then next year I can plant something else. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. See you next time.